Okay, so let's look at a simple while loop. So I'm using this uh, site called pythontutor.com um, and I've entered a simple while loop, n equals 4, while n is greater than 0, print the value of n, subtract 1 from n, and print all done when we're all finished. So we've got our while loop in the middle here. So let's see how this looks when we step through the code. So I'm able to step through the code by hitting this next button here. This red arrow indicates the line that we're about to execute. So after I hit the next button, this line will have been executed. So we're going to be able to visualize through the use of this tool how this while loop is executed. Okay, so let's go. So I hit next. Over here, we'll see the value of n. So n got set to 4. I now check the condition. While well, n is greater than 0, well, n is equal to 4, so it's greater than 0. So when I hit the next button, I'm going to... I'm going to move to line 3, where I'm going to print n. So I'm going to print that on the screen. So I enter the while loop. So I print the n. It's going to print up here, actually, after I hit the next button. And the next thing that I do is I subtract 1 from n. When I click the next button, we're going to see n go down to 3. And I come back up here and I start the while loop again. So I check this condition again. Is n greater than 0? Yes, n is equal to 3. So I'm going to enter into the code block associated with the while loop again. So I print n, I print the 3, and I subtract 1 from n. Where do I go next? I go back up to the top and I check this condition again. Is n greater than 0? Yes, it is. It's 2. So I enter the while loop again. I print the 2 on the screen, I subtract 1 from n, n is now equal to 1, I check that condition again, it's still greater than 0, so I execute this while loop one more time, print the 1 on the screen, now n is equal to 0, so when I check this condition it is no longer true, and I'm going to hop all the way down here to line 5. So I now terminate the while loop, okay, if I had started the code, so I'm going to edit this code now. What if n had started it to be minus 2? What would happen in this case? So n is equal to minus 2 when I hit next. n is equal to minus 2. I check this condition. While n is greater than 0, well n is not greater than 0, so I skip this while loop altogether. So my condition was initially false, so I never actually execute the while loop. Okay, what if I had forgotten to put this line in here? What's going to happen in this case? Well, I set n is equal to 5. I check to see if n is greater than 0. It is, so I print n on the screen. Come back up. I check to see if n is greater than 0. Yes, it is. I print n on the screen. Check to see if n is greater than 0. Yes, it is. I print 5 on the screen. What's happening here is that I don't have any code within the, the body of my while loop to ensure that this condition, n is greater than 0, is at some point going to be false to allow me to fall out of the loop. So I have written an infinite loop here. It's going to run forever or until my program crashes um, because n is never going to become less than or equal to zero. So we need to make sure that there's code within our while loop that will ensure that this condition will eventually become false. Without this, we run into an infinite loop.